Hi, Gregor. Hey, Ready to go, Park City? Good to see you. Good to see you. How's the conference been for you so far? Oh, it's always good to be at one of these conferences. You uh -huh. hear from your peers. So tell me a little bit about what you do at Clorox. My focus is on doing video for social creative uh, is my title. Mm -hmm. So most of what that translates to is because video is kind of lingua franca of social, it's working on video. Well, who do you think is doing well out there? I mean, you, you can talk about certain brands if you want to. You can talk about uh, Clorox's uh, initiatives or maybe just in general. But who's doing social video well? I, I would say... Marketing in general has gotten to be much more complicated than it used to be, I think. And the people, I think, who have sort of a hit record one day where, you know, whatever it was, Dunk in the Dark was the thing everyone was talking yeah. about in like 2005 or something. Yeah, well, um, yeah. That was sort of a moment that changed the trajectory of the way people went to market. Mm -hmm. Thinking they have to have a war room and they have to have a cross-functional team around the table and all that stuff. The shelf life of these things is really very short. Mm -hmm. So someone will come out with something that's just brilliant and I'm like, God, I wish I thought of that or that's going to be a disaster. <laughs> yeah. Personally speaking, I'm much more interested in bigger ideas and people who are less risk averse, people who do things that are a little bit uh, chancier. I was watching some new car spot recently. It was some car driving on a twisty road with some beautiful couple mm -hmm. and they were driving on like Pacific Coast Highway 1 or something. That's thinking, never used in the movies or commercials. Yeah, I was just Pacific thinking, one. my God, like, why would you even make, in 2017, why would you make a spot of someone driving down a twisty highway in the yeah. model of a car. Yeah. It's just been done 10 billion times. Uh, how do brands address that? How can they still get their, their message across and tell a great story, or can they? They definitely can, and I would actually say, when United had the video come out of the guy getting beaten up and thrown off the plane, that was not a social video spot. And yet, in a sense, it was. Yeah. They didn't produce it. It got produced on their behalf because some dummy decided to call some goons who beat up a guy and dragged him off the plane. Yeah. If United were a different company than they are, and their CEO had a different personality than he does, mm -hmm. that would have been an incredible opportunity. Yeah. Well, so, it's amazing to me that uh, oftentimes the, the C-level suite is not ready for that type of occurrence. You know, I, you know, it just seems there's such a disconnect between the, the current marketing world and communication world and, and what... Uh, I think sea level oftentimes is prepared for. Yes, and, and in that particular case, his response was was the axiomatic C-suite response. He got defensive, he said, I love my employees, and something, something, you know. There was nothing in there about, God, that's bad. I better do something <laughs> yeah. about that. Oops. <laughs> Maybe like to the, you know, 100 million views that we just got organically in the first 24 hours on this one. Maybe we should do something that works to switch people's perception, say, United is not the airline that drags you off beating mm -hmm. your head. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how did Pepsi handle uh, the Kendall Jenner issue? Did they do a better job? No, I think, once again, I would say the Pepsi spot wasn't such a nightmare spot as people made it out to be. Mm -hmm. The nightmare, which of their own creation, was that they created a, a headache for themselves with a tone-deaf, racist, whatever you want to call it, spot. Fine. Plenty of people do stupid spots. Mm -hmm. What they didn't do is... They, they seem to then stand there with their you know, deer in the headlights in their reaction, their PR crisis management mode. They could have done a lot of things. Instead, they seem to sort of just sit there going like, ah, yeah. and I would say, just like in a real life non-metaphorical version of being caught in the headlights, mm -hmm. you should probably pull yourself together and get out of the way, mm -hmm. not just stand there stammering. Yeah. On a scale of one to 10, how risky do you think brands are today, 10 being the highest, uh, and where do you think they should be to begin to have these experiences that they're allowed to learn from and create those incredible uh, opportunities and campaigns? I'm not sure risky is exactly the word I'd push for because I think, I'm not sure that we need to be pushing the envelope or pushing boundaries or being That's doing fair. anything. Okay. You know in all the books when people like Steve Jobs style books, yeah, and they say, I was out, they threw me out of my own company, I had $15 left in my name, and my <laughs> dog died. Yeah, Tony Robbins got right. yeah, the and janitor. It's, it's always at that moment that the hero's journey begins, right? Because the hero's journey is not you started in the middle and you went up. The hero's journey is and you start here and you drop the thing sure. and then you got to climb your way back. Uh -huh. To get down into that valley inevitably requires failure of something. The system failed, you failed, somehow you fell down in the well. Uh -huh. A culture that embraces a little bit less artifice of continued success and a little more the reality that 
Success is often a staircase that doesn't go straight up, but it goes up and down. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. I think that's about the realness of social. I think we're getting realer, and it's an opportunity to be a little less full of ourselves and full of right. jargon and full of nonsense. Fabricated. I think the customer, the customer is demanding it, so let's get real done. All right, how about fist bump? Why not? I'll Perfect. take it. All right. Good talk. Thank you very much. That was awesome.